Good morning. Two weeks ago, I, uh, I spoke to a device in my kitchen, and I said, it's my flight on time. And uh, when it confirmed that it was, I asked it to call me a car. And uh, a few minutes later, a lift showed up to take me to the airport. Uh, anybody watching this, just even a few years ago, would have said, WTF, what's going on there? All right? WTF, of course, is an expression of wonder and delight in that case. But a lot of people are hearing the news about technology today, and particularly technologies like artificial intelligence. And they're saying WTF in a very different tone of voice because they're hearing uh, about this study from Oxford University that 47% of jobs are at risk of being automated in the next 20 years. They're hearing that self-driving trucks are going to put millions of truck and lorry drivers out of work. Uh, they're even hearing increasing calls for a universal basic income uh, because there's just not going to be enough work for humans to do. Now, I actually think universal basic income may be a very good idea, but as T.S. Eliot once said, uh, this last temptation is the greatest treason, to do the right deed for the wrong reason. Uh, that's from Murder in the Cathedral. Uh, the idea that there is nothing left for humans to do strikes me as deeply offensive. Um, you know, our global economy has the mistaken idea that the goal of technology is to maximize efficiency and profits, even if that means treating people as a cost to be eliminated. That's the rotten idea at the core of our use of technology in this economy. I've been increasingly coming to believe that our economy is un in the thrall of what you might think of as a rogue AI. That is, as our world becomes more and more controlled by algorithms, we have to ask, what is the fitness function of the algorithm that drives behavior? So you think about Google search, for example. The fitness function is relevance. They're sitting there, and they have all these factors and all these programs and algorithms and big data, and they're driving towards giving you the result that they think will be the answer to what you're seeking. Facebook has similar rich data infrastructure, and they're trying to figure out what content you will most respond to. Now, what we've seen in the case of both Google and Facebook is that bad actors try to manipulate the algorithms. You also see that maybe the creators didn't get it quite right. Well, our economy is also in the thrall of a set of algorithms. And we have told these algorithms what to do. We have told them to optimize for corporate efficiency and corporate profit, and particularly for stock price, even if that means getting rid of people. And I think it's time for us to retune those algorithms, to change the way that we direct the economy. What is the fitness function that we want to direct these magical powers that we are putting in place so that we experience more of the WTF of delight and less of the WTF of dismay.